Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showing you how to do a step-by-step -step process on how you can back up and restore your iPhone. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do on your iPhone is we need to go into your settings here. And in settings, when you go all the way to your Apple ID, it should show up here as your name, go to your iCloud. And then in iCloud, you wanna go into iCloud Backup, Make sure you have backup this phone. And if you wanna backup over your 5G or LTE network, you can turn that on. And then once when you have backup now, you wanna click on that, it will show up a blue bar, and then it will show you a date on the last successful backup. So it'll show you a date and it'll show you a time. When you see that, that means your iPhone has been successfully backed up. Since I don't have any other iPhones that I can restore from, I'm going to erase my phone right here. It's gonna lose everything, but then I'm gonna show you the next step-by-step -step process on how to restore everything if you have a new iPhone or if your old iPhone starts to malfunction, if things starts to um, be defective, and you just wanna just erase everything from factory settings. Let me show you how. What you have to do to erase your phone is you have to go into general, and then in general, you wanna go all the way down to reset iPhone. And then when you're ready to reset your iPhone and you have everything backed up, hit the erase all contents and settings. That's going to inform you all the data and apps that you've had, the Apple ID, the find my iPhone. If you hit continue, it's gonna have you enter your passcode it's gonna bring you to the uploading data to iCloud, but since you already have a backup, you don't have to worry about that and hit skip backup. The next part here is going to have you enter in your Apple ID password. If you enter it in, the next step is going to erase your phone. So now I just entered in my Apple ID password. It's thinking, it's loading, and so the next step is going to then erase the phone completely. Then you'll see this screen here where it shows you to erase iPhone. You click erase iPhone. Once when it goes into the Apple logo, it's going to bring you to a welcome screen once when everything has been erased. The first thing you have to do is, say if you have your new iPhone, it's going to bring you to the hello or welcome screen here. And when you're on the hello or welcome screen, you just go to the prompts make sure you have a active SIM card, or if you have an eSIM in the phone, make sure that's active prior to activating your phone so it's a much easier and simpler setup. So next, you wanna hit English or whichever country or language you speak. And then you wanna do setup manually. You wanna choose the Wi-Fi network that's in your area, or you can continue without Wi-Fi. I'm gonna continue without Wi-Fi because I have the 5G network on my phone. It's gonna take about a minute to activate. And then you just go through the prompts for all these Apple data, privacy, face ID, and everything like that. I'm just gonna hit set up later. Create passcode, I'm going to set up later as well. Because the main screen I wanna to get to is apps and data, this portion here. This is where you're going to help restore information from your iCloud. And you wanna hit the first one where it says restore from iCloud backup. It's gonna have you type in your Apple ID. Now, once you entered in your password, hit next. And if your iPhone screen turns off, that's okay. You just gotta press the power button here and bring you back to the screen. Now, if you had an old passcode on your old iPhone before, you have to enter this. Now, this is a very important screen. On here, I shows two backups on my phone. I wanna go for the most recent one because it's gonna have the most recent information that was backed up previously. If you don't see the latest backup on there, obviously, you wanna to go to the one backup that has some information already saved. I'm gonna click on the most recent one and I'm gonna start restoring over cellular data. It's gonna tell me, make this my new iPhone. I'm gonna continue. Now it's gonna restore everything from my iCloud over to my phone, like how it was 
when I first erased it, or if you, for some reason, have a uh, old iPhone and you backed everything up from the old iPhone, now this is your new iPhone, everything will be saved and copied over to your iCloud. This is one of the best things about iCloud from Apple is because it saves a lot of the information and replicates what you had before over to something that you want now. Now once when the blue line goes all the way across the screen, the phone itself is going to turn off and restart. So the screen is going to go blank. So you don't have to be worried, you don't have to be scared. Um, all you have to do is just wait. Wait it out until you see an Apple logo come up top and then it's going to start having you type in some passcodes again, entering some passwords, but I'll get to that point when we get there. Now, if you've walked away from your phone and your phone turns black here and dark and nothing's responding, go ahead and wake it up here. Press in the power button. Now it's gonna bring you to your main iPhone screen. It should have the same background, all the same information, the apps on the phone, if you swipe up to go to your home screen, it should bring up some apps here too. It's gonna to tell you, do you wanna restore your data using the cellular? I'm gonna hit the data to restore. Some apps you see on here, like the Maps app, it's gray and it's dark. Don't worry about that because it's going to restore slowly over time and it's not going to do it right away. You have a whole bunch of apps on your phone probably and it's gonna take time to have it download right on your phone. Same thing with like my mail app here, it's a waiting. It's gonna take probably 24 hours for everything to properly complete the download process or less. As you can see here, it's now it's downloading slowly, but it's taking time to download everything on your device. That's all you have to do to back up and restore your iPhone. If you have any other questions at all, feel free to give me a comment box down below. I would love to answer any of your questions. If you thought this video was super helpful, please leave me a like in the bottom. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as well, so that way you're not missing out on any new videos that come out on this channel every single week. But until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.